Today we're installing Phoenix OS. Yes, hello, welcome! In order to install Phoenix OS, we have to download the system itself. So now let's type in Phoenix OS here in Google Chrome and the first website. I don't know why it's not loading up properly, but this is the website I can assure you. And now we're gonna use the ISO image here, the latest version here, press the download button, download here, and now it will download. While it's downloading, let's download the Rufus app here, just type in Rufus here, the first website result here. And now we're gonna download Rufus 3.5 Portable. The Portable version is very easy to use, you don't have to install it. And now we're gonna just wait for Phoenix OS to download completely. Now that the Phoenix OS has completely downloaded, we can go ahead and start the Rufus app here. And just press yes and yes. And now we can go ahead and plug in our USB flash drive. I have the Kingston here, eight gigabytes. And we can press select to select our ISO image, Phoenix OS here. And we're gonna use, change the partition scheme here to GPT. And now we're gonna use UEFI here as our target system. And now we can just go ahead and press the start button here. So we can write the ISO image to the USB flash drive. And here we're gonna just let it be here in ISO image mode and just press OK, OK. And now it will write the image as I said. Now that the USB flash drive is ready, we can go ahead and install Phoenix OS. So now we're gonna boot into the USB bootable device here. And this is a different process for every type of computer. So I will use the volume down button and the power button here. And now I can release the buttons. And now we can press install Phoenix OS to hard disk. And now it's detecting Phoenix OS. And here we have the list of hard disks. And we're interested in to press in create and modify partitions. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And we're gonna select SDA because that's our hard disk. And we want to use GPT. So we're gonna press yes. And now we can see all the partitions and we're gonna just delete every partition here. Just press delete, delete, and now we have some free space here. And now we're gonna make a small partition for the bootloader. We're gonna press new here. And here we can press OK. And here we're gonna press 204800, press enter. And now we're gonna press EF00 and just go ahead and press enter. We don't need to write any name here. And now we will have a 100 megabytes EFI system. This is for the bootloader. Now we're going to go ahead and select the free space here. And we're gonna press new. Just enter, 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 enter. So now we have our Linux file system here. And now we're gonna press right here in the very corner here, so that the actual partitions will be written. And we're gonna press yes here, or write yes here. And now we can go ahead and press quit. Now we can choose the partition for Phoenix OS to install on. And we're gonna press SDA2 because that's our big OS partition. And we're gonna press enter here. And the partition format will be X, EXT4. 
and just press yes and now it's formatting and now do you want to install EFI Grub2 we're gonna press yes and now we're gonna select our SDA1 you know the 100 megabytes partition we made I'm gonna press yes here I'm gonna press yes here I'm gonna press yes here and now it's writing and now we can plug out the USB flash drive and press reboot and now we can press enter here and now it's detecting Phoenix OS and now the system will soon boot up and voila if you see this screen that means that you have succeeded installing Phoenix OS so I will skip the setup process here and show you that the system actually works voila the system actually works and here we can open up my computer you can see it works recycle bin you can open up the start menu we can put the calculator here and we can start the web browser here stardust web browser so yeah the system actually works and this was pretty easy to installing phoenix os thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to comment down below if you have any questions and we'll try to help you out as fast as we can and don't forget to hit that thumbs up button to show some support and don't forget that notification bell so you can get notified of our new videos and don't forget to share this video to show your friends and family if they need this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe it's the most important things of all so we can grow this channel together thank you so much again remember this is Shima and Sutan. <laughs>